I'm Dr. Karen Agar, and this video discusses the conditional operator. Here I have an if statement that says if n1 is greater than n2, then assign max the value of n1, else assign max the value of n2. So it's taking me four lines here to assign max the value of either n1 or n2. For short branching statements like this, there's actually a shortcut. So this line accomplishes the exact same task. This is called the conditional operator. And the way that it works is given this same Boolean expression, so you don't have to change the way that you're writing those, it's gonna evaluate the Boolean expression. And then you can see we have a question mark here. If this Boolean expression evaluates true, then this value immediately to the right of this question mark that we see here will be returned. Otherwise, so if this statement returns false, this value immediately to the right of the colon will be returned. So back to the way that we've written it here. So if n1 greater than n2 evaluates true, then n1 will be returned and max equals n1. You can see that's the same thing here. Else max is gonna equal n2. So this is a quick way to write short branching statements and you're combining the question mark and the colon together and it's called the conditional operator. So here I have a little program where I ask the user how many siblings they have, and then I read in that int from the keyboard and store it in this int num siblings. I then print out, you have whatever number they tell me, plus the word sibling and siblings. So you can see here that I entered one, and it says you have one sibling or siblings. So what I want to do is use the conditional operator here to determine which one of these words is the correct one to print out. So really what we're trying to, to say is if they enter one, then you really only want this singular word. You have one sibling. But otherwise, if they enter two, three, four, five, then you would want the plural version of this word here. So if num siblings is one, print sibling singular, else print siblings. So I'm going to first, instead of hard code this here, I'm going to concatenate a string. So I'm going to just call it sibling. And I need to actually create this string. So here's string sibling. And I want to set it to one of these two values, sibling or siblings. And so the Boolean expression that I'm going to use is if num siblings is greater than one. So I don't need the word if because I'm going to use the conditional operator. So I'm going to say num siblings is equal to one. Then if it evaluates true, so if there's only one sibling, then I want the word sibling. Otherwise, so for any number of siblings other than one, I want the word siblings. Now I'm going to add a space here just so it looks pretty when we print it out. And you can see here that now I'm gonna print out you have whatever number they tell me plus either sibling or siblings. So let's see if this works. I have one, you have one sibling. And if I do five, then you have five siblings. Note that since all this conditional operator does is return a string, I could have just avoided creating this extra string variable and placed this entire conditional operator inside my print line statement. So I'm going to just copy this here, get rid of my string sibling, and in its place, I'm going to just paste my conditional operator. You will need to enclose this in parentheses in your print line statement, but this should work exactly the same. 